Today, we're diving into a topic that's equal parts fascinating and a little terrifying. We're talking about the bleeding edge of Android hacking tools, utterly invisible, slipping past defenses. Android security keeps evolving, but hackers always stay one step ahead. This isn't about scaring you, it's about arming you with knowledge. The digital landscape of 2025 is shaping up to be a minefield if you're not careful. Hit subscribe to stay one step ahead in cybersecurity. Let's get into it. First up on our list is a particularly insidious piece of software called Droid Stealth. Imagine an app that looks completely innocuous, maybe a simple calculator. That's the genius and the horror of Droid Stealth. It's the digital equivalent of a wolf in sheep's clothing. Once active, it's a full-blown surveillance tool. It can record your calls, track your GPS location in real time, exfiltrate your entire contact list. Droid Stealth is a silent, persistent data thief. Next, let's talk about a name that might sound familiar to some of you who've been in the security space for a while, Androrat. But the 2025 version, what we're calling Androrat Reimagined, is a whole different beast. The original Androrat, Android Remote Access Tool, was potent, but this new iteration takes remote control and stealth to an entirely new level. We're talking complete unfettered access to an infected Android device, all without triggering the usual alarm bells that older rats might. It's designed for silent, pervasive control. What can Androrat Reimagine do? Well, pretty much anything the attacker wants. It can secretly activate your phone's camera, front or back, and stream a live video feed. It can turn on the microphone and listen in on conversations happening around the device, effectively turning your phone into a bug. The evolution of Androrat highlights a critical trend. Malware isn't just getting more powerful, it's getting smarter about evasion. Moving on, we have Evil App, and the name pretty much says it all. This tool is particularly devious because it exploits something we're all conditioned to trust, system updates and legitimate app store interfaces. Evil App is a master of disguise, capable of perfectly mimicking official-looking update notifications from the Android OS itself, or even update prompts from the Google Play Store. The way Evil App typically works is by presenting you with a pop-up or notification that looks identical to a genuine system update or an app update request. Users trained to accept these prompts for their own safety will often tap Install or Update without a second thought. And with that single tap, Evil App gains the permissions it needs to take deep control of the device. The update you thought was protecting you has in fact become the gateway for a complete takeover. Evil App underscores the sophistication of social engineering in modern malware. Now, let's shift gears to something that sounds like it's straight out of a spy movie, Ghost Framework. What sets this one apart is its potential to gain access to your Android device without necessarily needing you to click a bad link or install a rogue app directly. While some attack vectors might still involve social engineering, Ghost Framework often focuses on exploiting network vulnerabilities to gain a foothold, sometimes even when your phone is just sitting on your desk connected to Wi-Fi. The core capability of Ghost Framework is often to gain shell access to the targeted Android device. For those not super technical, shell access is like having a command line interface directly into the operating system of the phone. This gives the attacker a powerful level of control, allowing them to execute commands, browse the file system, upload or download files, and manipulate device settings, all remotely and often silently. It's like having a secret backdoor directly into the heart of your phone. Ghost Framework represents a more advanced category of attack tool, often requiring a bit more technical know-how to wield effectively, but also offering a deeper level of compromise. Next up, we have something that exists in a bit of a gray area, the NetHunter App Store. Now, Kali NetHunter itself is a well-known and legitimate Android penetration testing platform, primarily for security professionals and ethical hackers. It provides a suite of tools to test network security, identify vulnerabilities, and perform security audits, all from an Android device. 
The NetHunter app store is where you can find and install these specialized tools. It's powerful, and in the right hands, it's a force for good. However, the very power and accessibility of these tools mean they can be, and often are, abused by malicious attackers. The same tools that help secure systems can be turned around to break into them. Let's talk about Termux. For many developers, sysadmins, and tech enthusiasts, Termux is an incredibly useful application. It provides a powerful Linux terminal environment directly on your Android device without needing to root it. You can install programming languages, text editors, SSH clients, and a whole host of command line utilities. It's fantastic for productivity, learning, and tinkering. However, like many powerful tools, Termux can be extended and unfortunately abused through various add-ons and custom scripts. The danger isn't with Termux itself, which is a legitimate and open source application. The problem lies in how its capabilities can be leveraged by malicious actors. The developer tool can easily become a hacker's hidden weapon. Phishing remains one of the most effective attack vectors, with tools like Zisher Mobile making it easier to craft convincing fake login pages for mobile devices. Its specialty is mimicking login portals of popular services with alarming accuracy. The attack usually starts with a lure. We all need to be hyper-vigilant about where we enter our login credentials. This next one, which we'll refer to as SEI's mobile, takes a particularly invasive approach. Imagine this. You click a seemingly harmless link, perhaps shared by a friend whose account was compromised or found on a website. You don't necessarily download or install anything obvious. Yet, moments later, your phone's camera is silently activated and a live video feed is being streamed to an attacker. The core idea behind tools like SEI's mobile is to exploit browser vulnerabilities or abuse permissions in clever ways to gain access to hardware like the camera and microphone without explicit, clear consent from the user. The threat of your camera being turned against you is very real. Defending against such attacks involves keeping your browser and operating system constantly updated to patch known vulnerabilities. Now, let's delve into the world of advanced keyloggers with a tool we're calling Keydroid. This isn't your average, easily detectable keylogger. Keydroid represents a new generation of stealthy input capture malware designed to be completely invisible on an Android device leaving no obvious log traces and operating with minimal system resource usage to avoid suspicion. Its sole purpose is to meticulously record every tap, every swipe, every character you type on your phone's virtual keyboard. The sophistication of Keydroid lies in its ability to hook into the input methods of the Android system at a low level or to cleverly overlay invisible capture fields over legitimate apps. The stolen information is then covertly exfiltrated to the attacker's server, often in small encrypted packets to avoid triggering network security alerts. The impact of a successful Keydroid infection can be catastrophic, leading to identity theft, financial fraud, and complete compromise of your online accounts. It underscores the critical need for multi-factor authentication wherever possible. Finally, let's talk about a network-based attack facilitated by tools like Internal Spoof. This type of tool focuses on creating cloned or rogue Wi-Fi hotspots that mimic legitimate ones, a classic man-in-the-middle attack vector. Imagine you're at your favorite coffee shop, airport, or hotel, and you see a Wi-Fi network with a familiar name, like Coffee Shop Guest Wi-Fi or Airport Free Wi-Fi. You connect, and everything seems normal but you might actually be connecting to a malicious hotspot set up by an attacker nearby. Once you're connected to the attacker's hotspot, all your internet traffic passes through their device. With your traffic routed through their system, the attacker can capture a vast amount of data. To protect yourself from these kinds of attacks, always be cautious when connecting to public Wi-Fi. If possible, use a VPN, which encrypts your traffic even if the Wi-Fi network itself is compromised. So, there you have it. A sobering look at 10 undetectable, or at least incredibly stealthy, Android hacking tools that are likely to be a significant threat landscape in 2025. 
From apps that disguise themselves as everyday utilities to network attacks that can compromise you silently, the ingenuity of attackers continues to evolve at a frightening pace. But remember, the point of this isn't to make you want to throw your phone in a river, it's to empower you. Understanding the threat is the first step to building a stronger defense. The digital world requires constant vigilance. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there and don't forget to keep learning. We'll catch you in the next one.